guys, hope you're having a great day today. All right, today's video is gonna be something a little bit different than I normally do, but I thought it would be a fun little video to do. So today I'm gonna to give you some 10 things you can do with your kids outside that require little or no prep. All right, are you ready for this? All right, all right, let's go to this. I am a stay-at-home mom. I've been a stay-at-home mom my entire marriage. <laughs> so one thing I've found is that you get stuck in the house in the wintertime, right? If you especially live in the north and you're stuck inside all day long and you can do a whole lot of activities to try to pass the time. But what I've also found is that in the summertime you can get stuck in the house during the day, especially when it is so hot outside. Now, if you don't have a pool that you can go to every single day, it can get pretty hard to go outside because you don't want to take your babies out because you're afraid they're going to burn or it's just plain old hot outside and you just don't want to get outside. So I've been there, done that. There's times where we just go, okay, we're just going to stay inside all day and we're going to wait until nighttime when the sun goes down and then we're finally going to go outside. And that just makes for a long, long day for mamas. And I've been there, I've done that, and it gets tough. So today I thought I would just share with you some things that we have done in the past with the kids. Some are one when their kids were little. I was thinking about them and I'm like, okay, these are fun things we do when they're little. So my kids are a little bit older now, but still, they're still gonna have fun with these things. So, all right, so number one, one thing my kids love doing is getting out the kitty car wash, all right? So you get their bikes. My kids don't have little kid bikes anymore. <laughs> so I was like, how can I film this? Because I don't even have little kid cars. I'm talking like, get those little kid cars out. You know, the cozy coupe car, the, the red with the yellow top, things like that. You bring that out, you line that up with your kids, you give them some buckets give them some car wash sponges or get some of your kitchen sponges, whatever, or washcloths, anything. Get some dish soap. If they're really little and you're worried about soap getting their eyes, use some baby soap. Put some in the water, fill it up with, with the hose. If, you're, if you let them have the hose, turn your hose way, way down. Turn it way down so that they're not squirting each other with it because you know as soon as they start realizing it squirts, they're gonna be squirting everybody around. So take your sprayer off. It's usually easier and just have it pour out. It's a little bit better. Fill those buckets with water. Sit up there and watch your kids. Nobody's drawn in the bucket. Let them wash their car. Oh, kids will have so much fun washing and scrubbing the bubbles on their car. My little kids love doing that when they're younger. Now my kids, like when they're older, the my like my, my Jensen age, the, he likes to wash his bike, so he gets out there and washes his bike really good. So that's one thing you can do with your kids. Number two, you can set up an obstacle course in your yard. Now, we live on a mountain, so I can't really set up an obstacle course on my yard because <laughs> there is no place to run. It's mountain down. But when they were little, we would go outside and I would take things like hula hoops and they would have to run around the hula hoop or they'd have to hula hoop. Then I would go to um, an area and I just put a little box on the ground, like a plastic box, and I had some blo wooden blocks and they had to stack the blocks and make a tower. And then they would go to another area, it was the kid slide. They'd have to slide down the kitty slide. Another area had a little dish full of um, balls or water balloons. They'd take those and they'd throw them against, it was the side of the house at the time, the side of the house and they have to do it. And then when they, they'd have to run and they'd have to do some, you know, jump through like from a certain distance to a certain distance and hop that bar. And then it was like, then they got to run to the end of the race. Just something fun to do. So just think creative, get out things that they already have. They have you know, sand toys, maybe put the sand toy buckets out and let them throw ba um, balls in there. Or if you don't have balls, look in your kitchen or look in for socks, roll up some socks and let them throw those out there. Wash the socks later, mom. Think of things that you have around your house that you can just set up some things that they can do. They can be little activities like stacking the, the cups, doing the cup stack game, things like that. Just something simple. Just throw like four or five in there and then do a little relay race with your kids. That'll be such a fun, fun memory. All right, the third thing that you can do with your kids is you can get out good old fashioned bubbles for kids. Kids love bubbles. I don't think I've ever met a kid that doesn't love bubbles. I remember getting the bubbles out and they just couldn't do the bubbles, so they wanted you to blow the bubbles and you had to blow and blow and blow and they love chasing the bubbles. That will keep kids entertained for hours, especially toddlers. <laughs> so we have we have a whole big set of bubbles and my kids just love going in there. We put them in a bowl. If you have a lot of kids, because I've I had the no spill bucket, greatest thing ever. Get one of those no spill buckets if you got toddlers, because all toddlers do is take it and dump it out on the ground. And you're like, why would you do that? Why would you dump your bubbles? <laughs> That was just what they do. Get the no spill containers. They can get those at the local store. I also have used and filled up a um, like a water pitcher with a spout. You can fill like a plastic one. You can get one at the store really cheap. Fill it up with a big giant gallon worth of bubbles and then do like a spout and put it in little yogurt cups. And the kids can have those little cups themselves doing it. That's a fun thing to do in the summer as well.
All right, number four is paint with water. My kids loved doing this. They're older now, so they don't really love it, but we'll still show you how much fun it was. When they were little, they loved nothing better than getting a paintbrush, getting it wet and pretending they were painting the deck, the house, the car, whatever. They really, really enjoy that. So give yourself, give your kid a bucket and some water, watch them go to town. They're gonna love doing that. All right, number five. This is something you gotta get a little brave for, mamas. If you're willing to do this, that's okay. If not, I understand. Paint, real paint on rocks. Your yard probably has some rocks up there. More than likely it does. We have tons. Give your kids, we, uh, you can use washable paints. You can use the acrylic paints. They don't always come off clothes, so be prepared. Give your kid a paintbrush and let them paint and decorate rocks. They will have so much fun outside. Get some little trees. Go out and cut some, get some oh, tree branches that fell in the air. Let them paint those little things. Anything fun out in nature, let them paint. They will have a great time doing that. But you gotta be brave. I understand if not, but just something you can do. All right, number six, you can make s'mores outside. Oh my goodness, you make s'mores outside during the day. Yes, you can, mamas, and you have to make a big giant fire because s'mores are fun. S'mores are a great activity for kids, but guess what they smell like when they're done? Can you guess? I know, they smell like a fire pit. And when you got little babies, you don't wanna be kissing them at night when they're going to bed and they smell like smoke. And because it's dark out and that's when you do the fire and you're like, it's already 10 o'clock and I get a bath, I've been there. So let me show you an easier way to do some s'mores. All you do is take a big giant tin can. This is like from our nacho cheese or big giants, like a 10 pound can of any kind of fruit, vegetables, whatever you use. Put one of those sterno um, lighters inside of it. You can get those, you can get a big 12 pack at Sam's Club for like a dollar a piece. Dollar store sells them. They're, they go under the chafing pans for catering services. You'll have it forever. I guarantee if you buy it, it'll take forever to burn out. I think it's like a 15 hour burn time. We've had these things for years. We use them for sparklers. We use them for s'mores. Anytime outside, sometimes through the winter, we're like, let's make some s'mores indoors. And we light these up and the kids love doing it. It's way better than using a candle or anything like that. So do some of that with your kids.
seventh thing you can do with your, your little kids outside, this is gonna be pertaining to babies. Okay, if you've got a baby or a toddler, I always found it was so hard to wanna to take them outside because they were sweaty. They were so sweaty, but meanwhile you've got little preschoolers and toddlers and even school age kids that wanna go outside, but you got the little baby and you're like, it's so hot for them. So you know what I did? Let me tell you what I did. I took my baby high chair outside, set it up in the shade, obviously, wherever we were gonna be at. And then what I did is I got a big container full of ice cubes. Now you gotta watch them, you gotta watch the kids. They're not choking on ice cubes. So put a couple ice cubes on their tray and let them play and try to pick those ice cubes up. They will not be able to do it and they will have so much fun doing that. If you're, if they can pick them up and they're putting them in the mouth, be careful because they will choke, so don't do that. Fill up their tray with water. Put a diaper on your baby, let them sit there and just fill that tray up with water and they will have fun splashing and playing in the water. It will be so much fun for them, trust me. A way for them to keep cool outside is to keep a spray bottle because sometimes when the kids are playing in the pool it's like ice cold because it's coming from the house and the hose is really really cold right and to put that on your baby it's like that's just shocking to them <laughs> so take a spray bottle keep it with you and by the time you keep it outside it's gonna get warm anyways and just kind of mist their legs you can even kind of mist their hair if your hands are up here and you can kind of wet their head so that they stay cool as well just a good way to keep that coolness on them so spray your babies not spray them directly in their face but spray them and you can wipe it on their arms and their legs things like that just a way to keep them cool as well so that's always fun my babies all enjoy doing that kind of thing so older kids wouldn't sit in the high chair but the little babies will all right number eight is have your kids bring out like their little matchbox cars their little dollhouse people barbies whoever whatever they play with and have them have a fun pool time or a car washing time with their toys set up a little area get a big giant plastic tub if you've got one in your house we've used a sled that was sitting outside because it contained all the water anything long and rectangle. If you got a little kiddie pool, like a little plastic one, use that. Whatever you can use, just a, a storage container will work. A cake pan, anything outside that you can put your kids can put them in. Put some bubbles, put bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Kids love bubbles, they love bubbles. Get yourself some dish soap and just say, okay, they can use this much dish soap. Don't give them the whole bottle because they'll want to use the entire bottle. Put some in a little cup and say, okay, here's all your soap. Whatever you do with that, that's all we're gonna have. So put that up for them. And then let them wash Barbie in the pool. Let them wash their little monster trucks. Let them put them in the pool. Let them swim around. Let them give them a bath. Wash their hair. Whatever they wanna do. Let them have a mess with water. They will have so much fun with that. Put a big uh, juice pitcher out there. Let them pour it on there or leave the hose if you're brave. It just depends on how brave you are. <laughs> that thing. You can even turn the sprinkler on really, really little and let their Barbies have fun and their cars going through the car wash pretending it's ready. Great things for kids to do. All right, number nine. This was something my little kids enjoyed doing and I had to think about it a little bit today as I was thinking about the video and Lauren was like, yeah, mom, I forgot we did that. Okay, this is a messy activity, but the greatest thing is your kids are gonna have fun with it and you can just hose them off in, an, in a good clean way, not terribly way. You make pudding and you let them paint whatever, their bodies, a plate, whatever you want them to do with all that. Make this beforehand. We're just gonna mix up some vanilla pudding because that's what I have on hand. Do chocolate, whatever color they like, it's fun. Mix it up, take it outside, give them little spoons, spatulas, whatever they want to do, and let them paint themselves with it. Oh, they'll have fun. Let them paint a picture with pudding and do finger paint with it. Put it on the baby's high chair. Let the baby play with it. Put it on a little kitty table, uh, picnic table, whatever you have for the kids. Just let them play. They will have so much fun with this. Trust me, trust me, trust me, especially when they let them. If they lick it, no big deal. They're not dying because it's not paint. It's chocolate pudding or vanilla pudding, and they'll love it. And then when they're done, you can just hose it off. My kids had so much fun and really remember the memories doing this. This was a great thing that they had fun doing. We have done shaving cream before when they're a little bit older and I knew they weren't gonna you know lick it or touch it. Shaving cream is really cool and fun to do finger paint with and then you let it dry. It's puffy like puffy paint but you gotta make sure your kids don't put it in their mouth. So if you got little ones put it in their mouth do chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding so you can even mix Cool Whip in it. Cool Whip you know fluffy whip topping with it and that would be delicious and fun for them to do as well.
All right, and the best thing I'm gonna say to do with your kids that's super easy, doesn't take a whole lot, is number 10. And number 10 is go have a picnic lunch with your kids outside. Something super simple and easy to do. So put yourself a blanket outside, pack yourself a lunch up. What we did back in the day, my kids really enjoyed watching Little House on the Prairie. They loved that show when they were little, my older ones. So we would pretend we were Little House on the Prairie and I got those little tin pails from the dollar store and we would pack up. I would cut, we'd watch the movie and see what they had. And they had like hard boiled eggs, cheese, some bread, that kind of thing in there. So we would take our little pails and I'd wrap up, wrap it up in, in wax paper, some homemade bread with butter some hard boiled eggs cut up. Then we'd have a slice of cheese and put it there. We'd put it with an apple. We'd put that in their little lunch pail and they'd take it out. We'd have to eat it right away because it would get, obviously we want it to get, you know, warm too fast. And so, but take yourself a little lunch pails. Get yourself some nice little cooler bags. Pack yourself kids lunch and take these outside. Now we have purchased multiple cooler bags and lunch boxes um, this year. You saw my videos before where I bought some. I ended up buying kids lunch boxes, okay? And I wanted all of them to have their own. So I got these ones that we got. What I found is they do not do very well going outside in the North Carolina heat that we have. So my kids always have to put, they put two ice packs in those little lunch bags that we have before. And what happens is their food gets, that sun just beats down on it because it is so hot. It's 95 degrees here. It beats down on it and gets it so warm and then their food starts to get warm and I'm like, uh, so I'm always like, hurry up and eat your lunch right away because I don't want it to get old and I don't want you to get sick drinking, eating warm food that's you know not good to be warm. So what I've had to do is switch over to a thicker lunch bag. Thicker in a cooler way. So we have these great lunch bags. I'm gonna show you all the ones that we have. All right, so now we're gonna pack up our bags here and make a lunch for outside for the kids. These are really great. This is Double Leaves is the company. Super great, look at this, this is a backpack cooler. Look how cute this is. Look how fun that is. Look at the grate. It's huge. This bag is humongous and it's all cooler. It's got zippers in the front. It's got little Velcro packs. You guess what? My phone goes in there or the girl's phone because the girl's like using this. And there's a zipper in here. This is even insulated as well. You can put a little mini ice pack. Got a little mini one. You can put that in here and you can put stuff in here to stay cold or inside. This bag is humongous. I'm going to put as many water bottles in it and show you how big. All right, got a lunch pack. So now we're gonna go out in the yard and have a little picnic. Don't have to go somewhere fancy, mamas. Don't even have to go out in the world with anything. Just go right in your backyard, put a blanket down. We're gonna do it right on our driveway where it's safe from bugs and ticks and everything else.
what they found with those bags is that they're thicker so the food stays colder longer so that's what we need down here so i'm going to put a link to this in the uh, description below of this video of these lunch bags that we got and you can see which ones they are and so just the better quality ones you're going to want something if it's just going to school or inside a building great use a lunch box it'll stay cold but if you're going to go outside and have something and your bags and be sitting out in the steaming hot sun for quite some time like we do you're going to want a thicker lunch bag so make sure when you're investing in kids lunch boxes kids lunch bags think about what your needs are are they just for inside is the bag ever going to be outside in the hot sun well then if you just need inside just get the thinner ones that's fine but if you need something that's going to last a little, little bit longer in the hours of the hot sun you want to get a thicker lunch box bag and so and also when you purchase cheaper ones versus a little bit more expensive one the cheaper ones the zipper is really hard to move you saw my videos where i was having a really hard time with the zippers on some of my kids bags i had to take like a crayon and get all over the zipper so that it could slide easy i still have to do that on them and so now that we have the other bags they work a whole lot better i don't have kids going mom i can't open my lunch or i can't do that i'm like i am so so sorry so invest yourself in some good kids lunchbox bags. So look in the link in the description below and I'll, I'll link all the bags that we have here today. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video of 10 things that you can do with your kids that require little or no prep and are gonna be fun making memories as a family. All right, mamas, take my 10 ideas, pick two, pick three, whatever you wanna do and say, okay, I'm gonna do that this week with my kids. I'm gonna pick two this week. Just focus on two and say, I'm gonna do one at the beginning of the week and one at the end, just for something fun to get my kids out of the house day. A couple hours, your kids will remember, and they'll remember. My older ones still remember. I remember when we painted with pudding. That was so much fun. Oh yeah, I remember painting with water. That was like the greatest fun. <laughs> Those little things, they're so silly. Making s'mores outside during the day. My kids still remember. I love when we did that, or I love when we had picnics outside. My kids love doing those things. So create those memories, mamas, because that's what you're putting inside and instilling in your kid's heart, you taking the time with them. And it doesn't require a whole lot. These things are all pretty much free or real low cost or things you have around the house that you can do with them. So, all right, so you guys have a fantastic day today and we will see you guys again tomorrow. Okay, bye.